Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. Today we're going to be unboxing a couple Monster Pack, well this is a Monster Pack, and uh, Kami Unbound, if I'm Kami Unbound. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but either way we're going to unbox both of these, show you guys what's inside of them. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and I might be, these are Kickstarter exclusive, so I don't believe these are hitting retail, um, but someone in the comments can let me know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, but either way I want to show you guys what's inside both of these products. So let's just zoom in on the boxes just for a second so you can see them a little bit closer. I also don't want to give you nightmares because these are obviously um, uh, extremely uh, aggressive looking miniatures um, but uh, they're really really cool and I'm excited to kind of show you guys what they look like. So let's flip these things over so we can read a little bit more about what's inside of both of these boxes. So the first one here uh, up here the monster pack at the top is from Legend They Come Strides of Majesty and Fear Monsters Join the War. So there's four different monsters here they're going to come in. Um, and they're also going to bring in some, I believe, season cards as well as their monster cards. Or maybe their monster cards are season cards. I guess that makes sense. It says, when the fate of the kingdom is at hand, one can never have too many monsters at their side. This expansion brings four imposing monsters to your game, which you can add on top of the, base, uh, the basic roster of monsters the clans can acquire. These magnificent and terrifying creatures each introduce a unique ability, opening up a new or opening up new strategies for cunning players. Uh, there's a tree that's able to summon more of your forces across the map. There's a spider that can seduce opponents' warriors to your side. Uh, there's a devastating fire dragon which can incinerate multiple figures at the start of a battle, and that sounds bad. And the towering. Uh, uh, Ani of Plagues blocks the on, uh, the Honorable from its province. So those are the unique things that these monsters can do. Uh, this one down here, the Unbound expansion, this one is uh, the Japanese gods of the sun, moon, sea, wind, thunder, storm, and war have been unleashed. No longer content with passively being worshipped in their shrines, the physical manifestations of these have descended upon the land of the rising sun to aid the clans that honor them and shape the provinces in their own image. So basically they're gods um, and these are going to make let's see if I can decipher this uh, the Unbound expansion makes the uh, makes the Kami a true force to be reckoned with instead of just offering an ability to the clan that worships them um, the uh, worships them the most on each turn or each Kami turn the Kami now come down to the map and help oh, okay because in the actual Rising Sun be, uh, game if I understand correctly you can worship gods in the game in order to gain different things, but now it's gonna actually bring gods into play when you do this. So it's just another way to bring more monsters and more things like that into the game, but these are gods, so they're not monsters, they're even uh, shaded differently. So that's really cool, it's gonna contain a brand new set of season cards as well, that's cool, bringing even more options and strategies to the game, whether you're using these guys or not. So let's crack them open and see what's inside. So the first one we'll do is this one right here. So let's go ahead and crack open the one with the gods to find out what pleasant creatures are going to come along to help us because I believe the monsters are the ones that are really going to rain down terror on us but these ones are interesting in that they're going to add new dynamics to the game so let's see what we got here and uh, just bear with me here as I try to unleash this box there we go so we got the very first thing is a pamphlet so there we go season card set talks about the expansion itself talks about the setup. This is where it's talking about uh, these are the areas in the basic game here where you're worshiping the gods and now those gods are actually represented on the board if I'm not mistaken and that's kind of how that plays so that's pretty cool. Then there's actually a breakdown of each of the different gods. This is how they actually play and how you control them. Um, they enter your clan as a figure and then of course it talks about each one of them um, one by one. So there's each one being listed all the way from front to back. Very cool. These cards are much bigger than the norm, so I'm gonna probably have to be. I'm gonna probably sleeve these, but there's not many because there's probably one per god. So I guess there's seven gods here. So there would be seven of these. There's the back of them, and this is the front. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead here, and if I can find a place to cut this where I won't ruin the cards, I will do that. Let's see here. There's actually, actually I'm looking at this and there, oh, there we go, that worked. I just pulled it apart and it ripped on its own, perfect. Okay, so let's toss that. So here we go, here are the cards. So we got this one right here. This is one of the gods, I guess. We've got this god here. So I guess if you're, if you're gonna paint them, this would be a perfect card to reference as you paint, if you wanted to make them match exactly. 
the way they're shown here. Very cool. All very different, and they obviously have their own unique abilities in the bottom, which I'll give you a quick look at in case you're you're wondering. There you go. All right, moving on. We got uh, season cards. So there are some season cards in the game. These are going to enhance your options at, at all times, from what I'm understanding with this, which is really cool. I, lo I love a game that, can, or expansion, I should say, that not only adds a mechanism into the game, but also uh, bolsters what's already in there. So again, autumn cards are going to be added in, summer cards are going to be added in, spring cards added in, and these are going to add different things in that may or may not be part of the game at all. So these are brand new things that can be done. I shouldn't say they're part of the game because they're not. And uh, a whole bunch of them. Very cool. Some more stuff I have to sleeve. All right, moving on here. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at each of the actual gods inside of this box. So I'm just going to lift this out. We're going to have to deal with what's typical with Simon, and that is their, uh, their taping. So just bear with me here as I battle with the tape to remove it from these particular boxes. I think, if I'm lucky, there's only two. So I think the last one that I did was six, and that was kind of brutal. But this one it seems to just be two. So. Um, Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just two. Oh, no, never mind. They had a third one hiding there on the side. And there we go. Perfect. Okay. Good, good. So, here are the seven gods. And I'm not going to know them by name, so you're just going to have to take a look at them. And we'll go from there. So, here is one of the gods. Very cool. Again, totally different shade than anything else in the game, for sure. Pretty cool. I like that one. This guy, whoa, this guy's crazy. So, lots of stuff going on with him. Great detail all the way around. Wow. That's pretty cool. Jeez. Don't know what's going on there, but it looks like music might be his thing. Uh, this, whoa, this guy's crazy. He's got, uh, got the wind. What is going on with that? Well, he's got wind or something. This Because each of these gods are for different things, like storm, wind, all that kind of stuff. So I'm guessing this is wind. It would make sense. There's layers of everything going all over the place. Very cool, though. Very unique. Definitely stands out on the game board, that's for sure. Um, above that, we've got this individual here. Ooh, that's really cool. This individual is like hovering off the ground. I don't think his feet's even touching. It's, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but um, looks like it's got a gigantic. Oh, it's got a bow there too in the back. Cool. I like this guy or girl, depending on who it is. I can't really. It's hard to tell. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus again. It's got a guy to me. Interesting. All right. Um. She looks, she's cool, like that backdrop, or, that's really cool, that's really, in... there's a lot of detail on that, I'm surprised that even came out that well, that's really impressive, it's, a... it's not a massive miniature either, it's really nice, um, so I have to figure out what, what each of these are called, uh, in order to actually get a little bit more familiar with them, uh, but man are they nice, they just look so nice, oh that's cool. So, like, the cool thing is, too, they also did a really good job of putting detail on every aspect of the miniature, not just, like, where you would look. Like, you can, I feel like this is one of those games you could really appreciate the miniatures by just looking at them. I think you learn a lot, and they also would make you ask a lot of questions. You'd be wanting to look up a lot of these individuals. Um, now, actually, there is one really funny story, but I don't think it relates to, uh, I don't know what box it relates to, but I believe, it could be this box, I don't know, but... I believe the designers of the game, there's a there's a forum somewhere where somebody found out that uh, Simon apparently had referenced a wiki, the wiki page for the gods or the, uh, you know, the back story of where all, a majority of these um, individuals um, came from in culture. And uh, I think someone, uh, just being an absolute jokester, went into Wikipedia, 
way back uh, before Simon references Wikipedia page and added themselves in as a god or some type of deity or something like that. And basically Simon created this individual as a legitimate one, which is hilarious because it's not, that one is not legitimate. I don't know which one it is, but if anyone happens to know which, which model is, I'd love to know because I think it's hilarious that uh, they actually got themselves into the game. And then I also heard that apparently the person found out that they became part of this game and purchased it just because of it. So my guess is that the person, it's probably in the core box or the Dynasty Invasion would be I, my guess as to where it exists, but I'm not 100% sure. Either way, super funny if it's actually true, um, but I believe it is if I remember correctly when I looked it up. I think it was, I don't think it was just made up out of the sky. So anyway, that is going to uh, sum up this expansion. Next up, we're going to move to the monster pack, which is much more, much more unhappy. These guys are, are not, they're not going to be as smile, there, there won't be many smiles with these ones. Uh, these guys are definitely, you're going to, you're going to want them on your side because they are not nice. <clears throat> they look extremely cool though. So let's go ahead here and take this. And one of the sides is moving, the other side is not. There we go. Okay, crack this thing off, there we go. So similar to the other box we just opened up, We've got ourselves a monster pack rules card, so extra monster cards, and it's going to talk about each of the monsters. That one looks like a gigantic spider woman with heads everywhere, and it's totally disturbing. Uh, fire dragon, that's really cool. You've got uh, the, uh, the Oni of Plagues, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and then that crazy tree thing. So uh, again, they're going to give you a little bit of a, you know, a background on what they do and, and how they impact the game. It's only one sheet, so it's not that, that much. There's no plastic on this one, thank goodness, so I can just open it up and show you. Uh, you got all the bases again for, for the different, uh, you got all the bases in here. And of course, any additional bases you might need for the other clans are inside those clans boxes, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and there you go. You've got one for each. So these are the names. So if you want to become familiar with the actual names of each of these monsters, there they are. And their costs and their abilities. These are going to be added in in particular seasons. So they're going to show up across. Two of them are going to show up very early on in the game. The other one's going to show up later. Okay, so let's crack these open. These actually look really big. Well, at least a couple of them look really big. Um, so, let's see here. Where is the tape? The tape sometimes is in the middle and other times it's on the corner. So it's a surprise every single time trying to figure out where it all is. I got two of them off. There's probably four total. Yep. And then we're free to look at these likely gorgeous miniatures. All right, so just going to remove the tape from my hands here. Okay, so we've got um, a tree here that's absolutely terrifying. So it looks like something out of Kingdom Death Monster, but essentially it's just a whole bunch of heads coming out of a tree, and uh, I think there might be, those are legs and limbs, no, no, they're not, never mind, those are actually roots, but those up there are a whole bunch of heads, for sure, so this is horrific, <laughs> so you're going to want to have that on your side, for sure, um, you've got this individual here, a lady that is sitting, or, uh, don't even, I shouldn't even say she's sitting, she is the spider, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so that's, terrifying. She's got an umbrella that's fairly dainty actually. I'm kind of concerned that I might end up destroying that. Uh, but that is disgusting. So if you, <laughs> if you have any aversion to spiders, uh, I don't think you're going to want to hold this. I think I had my nephew over and I was playing Massive Darkness and it has a spider that is less gross than this, I think, and he had a very hard time even looking at it. So I doubt he'd enjoy this one. Here's another uh, gigantic dragonish type thing that's sitting on top of a ball. I think that's similar to what we saw with the core box, but this one's a different one. Very, very cool face. Very unique. Tons and tons of detail on it if you want to paint the heck out of this thing. Very cool all the way around. Lots to look at, that's for sure. Very nice. And then this guy, massive. He's huge. If he's sitting on the table, taking up a lot of space it's a big miniature he's uh, he feels hollow though I will I will say that he doesn't weigh as much as he looks um, yeah I think you can hear that there's a little bit of hollowness to him but he feels solid like the detail is definitely there um, 
Let me just put my hand back here so we can get it all. There we go. Now you guys can see it much better. So lots and lots and lots of detail on that. That one. I actually really like this one. This is pretty cool. He's got he's holding multiple he's got two arms on one side. Sorry, he's got four arms. He's got another one up here. I didn't even notice the sword up by his head. So yeah, he's got four arms. He's in, he's definitely a creep. Okay, so that is essentially all of the monsters within the monster pack, as well as the uh, Kami Unbound. So hopefully, now at this point, I think I've actually unboxed everything for Rising Sun that comes in the Kickstarter as well as retail. Uh, we've already talked about the coins in previous videos, but the coins are really cool. They're just weighted metal coins. We talked about them, I believe, in the very first unboxing video. So everything is now covered, and now I'm going to start to actually play this with friends and start to learn how this game works by itself as a multiplayer game and then I'm going to start tackling the solo rules and try to figure out how the solo rules work once I understand how the multiplayer wants because I think once I know how, to, how it plays multiplayer um, I'll have a really easy time uh, translating it over to uh, solo. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was useful for you to see what comes inside of these boxes. Again, if someone knows whether these are Kickstarter exclusive or not, let me know. I have forgotten. Um, I think they are, but I could be wrong. Uh, thanks again for your support, and as always, keep on rolling solo.